Here I'm driving nails both in the heel area and the toe area. Try to drive a high nail uh, and leave the, the clinches about a quarter of an inch long and leave them at 90 degrees to the hoof wall or perpendicular to the hoof wall. These will act as anchors for the casting process. So make sure that you drive a good nail both front and back and that you leave about a quarter of an inch of clinch and leave the clinch at 90 degrees angle to the hoof wall. Now that we're ready to wrap, make sure that you're ready, that you have your gloves on, that you have your pouch, that you have water in the pouch, that your stretch wraps available and your um, forming pad is all set to go. In the casting process, it's very important to alternate between the heels going high on one side and low on the other. In this video, you notice that I'm going high on one side and then dropping down and going low on the other side. I refer to it oftentimes as cross your heart bra. So I'm going up on the medial heel here and then down on the lateral side, up on the lateral side, down on the medial side. By alternating it back and forth, what we're trying to do is avoid pinching the bulbs. So if I can go high on the medial side and low on the lateral side, I've got a little cross your heart bra thing going. It's also important to make sure that you're covering the toe of the shoe as well because that's what's going to wear. You want to make sure you've got plenty of casting material going at the toe and uh, along the quarters, not pinching the, um, the bulbs, but um, going high on one side and low on the other. It's very important. And then the shrink wrap process, what you want to do is just go around it with some stretch wrap. Um, and that is basically to hold the resin and moisture in the cast for a better uh, curing and also so it doesn't stick to the forming pad that we're about to put it down now. Hold it on there for about a minute, minute and a half, depending upon the weather, and you got it. You got it.